Hydro dip, more like hydro sh Trash. Oh, boy! We're gonna be hydro dipping today. You may have seen videos of people hydro dipping, dipping a part into film covered water and pulling it out to get a really cool looking design. How hard is it to do that though? Is it something I can do at home? Or is it something that a pro will do a much better job at? Well, today, Justin and I are gonna find out. Should we DIY or should we don't? Woo! Big thanks to carparts.com for sponsoring today's video. Being a car owner is rewarding, but it's also tough. Like any good relationship, it takes work to maintain. But thanks to Dr. Jerry's new book, Right Part, Right Price, My Life and Experience with carparts.com, well, my relationship with my car has never been better. Hi. I'm Dr. Jerry. I've been a car therapist for over 11 years and 16 days, so I know maintaining a strong relationship with your auto partner can be complicated. I felt like my car was ignoring me. I didn't know what to do. That's when I found Dr. Jerry's Right Parts, Right Price. I opened the book, and inside was a phone logged into carparts.com. People need to understand that carparts.com is the smarter way to shop for auto parts, connecting you with the right part at the right price, hassle-free. Plus, at checkout, carparts.com can link you to nearby auto shops to receive installation quotes for free. A lot of these automotive help books have a lot of words. Dr. Jerry's book, no words. And it's just a perfect, easy way to get to carparts.com. It's the perfect book. And all of this could be yours for the low, low price of clicking the link in the description of this video. Get the right parts right now at carparts.com. Check it out and maintain the love with your car today. Okay, are we done? Great, excellent. I wrote a book uh, and, I, and I didn't write a single word <laughs> and people bought it. That's fantastic. All right, now on the surface, hydro dipping seems to be pretty straightforward. It's either a layer of paint or a pigmented film on top of a bath of water. And as you pass a part through it, the part sticks in a nice uniform way. But it seems like there's gotta be a trick to it, right? I mean, what kind of things can I hydro dip? What can I hydro dip? What kind of paint can I use? Have you ever hydro dipped anything? I have not. Well, me neither. It's gonna be a day of learning. Absolutely. And you're gonna be taking us through the first of our two methods of hydro dipping, which is the spray paint method. All we have to do, fill this water up a little bit, spray paint into the water, creates a film, you stick your part in. It seems borderline insane. All right, well, let's get the hell into it. First, we have to prime and prep the parts. All right, while Justin primes this trim piece, let's talk about a few things we gotta talk about. First off, cost on this method. It's pretty dang cheap. We spent like 15 bucks on the tub, and you know, spray paint costs a few bucks a can. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty quick project. You just prep a part and then dunk it in a bath with paint on it. Cost is gonna be low, time's gonna be low, and similarly, I think effort will be low. Outcome, how good is this possibly gonna look? My expectations are a little bit on the low side, but Maybe I'll be surprised. I want to see like a leopard print pattern. Oh. If you're going to do this at home, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Do we have the right kind of water? <laughs> it says just water. Maybe we just need more paint than we're thinking. This just doesn't seem like it's going to work. You must agree, this looks awful, huh? Yes. All right, let's give this a shot. It's definitely gonna look interesting. Yeah, it's perfect leopard pattern. Hey Siri, what does a leopard look like? <laughs> I mean, well. it, it looks just like what it was in the water. Yeah. <laughs> The outcome ain't quite what I was hoping for. Yeah. The thing is, is this is so cheap. We could just start over. It's true, this is kind of no, no harm, no foul. If you're doing any of this kind of stuff, trying to learn a new process, do it on parts you don't care about. We're about to revisit our spray paint hydro dipping method now that we've got the correct paint. We got acrylic water-based paint. Well, I mean, that looks better. It does look better. So we did too much paint. I didn't think that would be possible. See what happens. 
Well, that's an interesting look. I guess if you're doing the spray paint hydro dip method, you're gonna have to be okay with some texture. You can get a kind of cool pattern, a little starry night vibe. It really does look like we just dumped this into a, a can of house paint. Yeah, it looks like we sprayed Which paint look, on water. Might look, <laughs> <laughs> and dunked a part in it. Okay, moving on from the ultra DIY spray paint dipping method, we're gonna move on to the much more legit and hopefully more straightforward uh, film dipping method where you have an actual printed out pigmented film like this. And uh, this ultimately is gonna be what gets transferred onto our parts. A kit with all the contents that you need to do a film dipping like this will cost you about $60 and it'll include whatever film you want and an activator. Uh, let's get into it. Let's start dipping. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut out the amount of film that we need. Cut out a little square. Now, you notice how badly this wants to curl up, and that's, that's a problem. What we need to do is make a border around this thing with just masking tape, and that'll help keep the film uh, undistorted as we put it in the water. Okay, now that we have this tape border, that's gonna keep our film from curling up when we put it in the water. But uh, the film needs to be able to expand a little bit as it absorbs water. And with the tape as it is now, it won't be able to do that. So what we have to do is cut a few slits in the tape all the way through to the film like this. Just every few inches. Okay, now the edges won't curl up, but the film can still expand as it needs to, which uh, hopefully will yield a good result. Okay, so another important thing to note is that there is an upside and a downside to this, and if you get it wrong, it won't work. So in this case, the dull side is that which goes up that will touch our part. So we're gonna kind of start in the middle and work to the corners. It's also incredibly important to not get any water on top of the film once it's in. Okay, so we're gonna give that about a minute to absorb water. I've got a couple little air bubbles that may give us a little imperfection at the end. Oh well, I guess. So now I need to spray this with activator. I'm gonna give it just one kind of even medium coat over the whole thing and then give that a second and then we're ready to dip. Roll the part in. Pick it up on out. Okay, so we've got our little shroud here that we just hydro dipped. And at first glance, it doesn't look too bad, especially for my first crack at it. But uh, when you look a little closer, you can see a few issues. First off, you can see the primer in these few spots. Those are air bubbles that got trapped under the film. Here you can see the film ripped a little bit. I gotta pay attention really to how I drop the thing in. I should have been sure to get that front uh, dipped first and dipped well. I didn't and now it looks horrendous. So there's not much I can do about that after the fact except learn from it. If you can tell this thing sort of looks shiny and dull in spots and that's that residue I was talking about. You can even see it kind of coming up here. Felt like I rinsed it forever, not long enough. Well, you give me a grade. Compared to how the spray paint went, this is a B plus. I'll take a B plus. Yeah. Generous, some would say. Very, very. All right, so like I mentioned before, it's very important to make sure that you use your film uh, in the right direction. That is like right side down, right side up. What you can do to figure it out is take a little bit of your activator on a rag and wipe the sides. Aha. So the side that the pattern comes up on, that's the side you want facing upwards. So I actually have this upside down right now. Do the uh, activator test and then you'll be sure. I'm gonna cut this so that it pretty well matches uh, the size of the tub. It could be said that this is a little bit too big for the tub. We're pivoting. I'm gonna use this smaller piece and uh, dunk this right now. Activator! It's gonna be cool, it's gonna give it a cooler effect. The double dip.
All right, so our last experiment turned up some results. First off, we definitely need to have like a base coat and a very nicely prepped product before we go dipping it. Way more fun to find out the hard way, isn't it? Our hub cap, which is what we're gonna do now, is nicely prepped, it's primered, and it's ready to go. I'm gonna use this carbon fiber look stuff, and we're gonna step up to a larger tub this time, so I have a little bit more room, hopefully turn out a decent result. I'm gonna need to make a tape barrier. We really want, only want it to have about an inch uh, with which to expand. And then that's just enough so that when we lay the film down, it won't be able to expand past that piece of tape. This is one of the most important parts, laying this down in there so that there's no air trapped underneath it and no water that gets on top of it. So, see what we can do. Try to get any air trapped. You see how kind of crinkly this paper is, so I'm really concerned that there's little air bubbles trapped in all those crinkles, but new paper isn't gonna be this crinkly. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, so let's review our hubcap. It seems to me that a good candidate for hydro dipping is something that's gonna be mostly a convex shape. When you get into these concave areas, there's just not enough film to cover it all. There's all sorts of little like imperfections in this. If you look closely, it looks like, you know, almost uh, water spatter or something. I'm not really sure why that happened, uh, but it did and it doesn't look very good. I think the hubcap wasn't the best candidate. So we're gonna try the film one more time. We're gonna use the helmet. Oh God, I touched it. <laughs> well, all right, we'll give that about a minute and then we'll rinse it forever and see what the final product looks like. I'm not sure if I rinsed too hard this time or what, but the pattern has sort of just faded away. It hardly looks like carbon anymore. And I don't really know why that happened. Okay, well, we've been using this old ass dip film. This stuff is fresh, brand new, right out the bag. And it is soft and smooth and not crinkly at all. This is definitely the one I'm gonna be going with, a pink camouflage, uh, as you'd probably expect from me. Let's find something to dip. It's almost like having good quality materials makes the job go a lot better. We got our best result yet, hands yeah, down. This has been a little bit trickier than expected. I really am excited to talk to a pro. Uh, this is the first time that we didn't talk to a pro first and maybe that was my undoing. But we're gonna go talk to him now and I'm hopefully gonna learn what the hell went wrong here. Okay, so today we've got Brian Westbrook from Liquid Concepts. Uh, they do a lot of hydro dipping. I'm gonna try to dip one more part today and I'm gonna try to get it right. So look at some of the things we dipped and hopefully find out what went wrong. First, the, the hubcap. Is a hubcap like that a good candidate for hydro dipping? Some films will wrap down in here and, and they look great, you know. Um, other films, like in particular, like this carbon that you picked, as it stretches, you see it a lot more. Yeah. Every film is, is going to have its good and its bad. All right, well that not only makes sense, but makes me feel a little bit better as well. <laughs> All um, right. We sent you the helmet also, right? Seeing the, the rips and the tears that you've got, it was probably a little bit underactivated as well. The activator is very, very critical. That's probably gonna be like 95% of all of your problems in the dipping world. The biggest thing is, is that it's got a glass out on the water before you dip it. Okay, so I gotta find the sweet spot. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. I'm armed with way more info than I had last time I tried to do this, so I think we might be able to get a, get a properly dipped piece today. Get off my finger. Gotta get one good thick coat. Oh, shit. well, hot dog. 
Okay, well, this is definitely easily our best work yet, but I still wouldn't quite call it perfect. You can see splotchiness uh, kind of throughout, but it looks pretty good. Let's talk about it, let's break it down. First off, let's talk about the spray paint hydro dipping method. I didn't like the results that we got, but I also, I'm not quite sure that our method was completely airtight. From what I hear, they actually make specific spray paint that is meant to do spray paint hydro dipping. So if you get that, your results will probably come out a little better, but the results that me and Justin got, mm -hmm. I would give a big fat thumbs down. Now, let's talk about the film method of hydro dipping, the more legit method. Pretty dang cheap to be able to really change the look of a lot of parts. So cost is pretty dang good. Now let's talk time. The act of dipping itself is pretty quick, a lot quicker than painting something and way less messy. Time, pretty dang good in my opinion as well. Uh, effort is pretty minimal. It's uh, a little bit of stress because there's so many things you're trying to remember and trying to do a good job. But I think once you get over those things and you're you know, actually good at it, the effort is super low. All right, now let's talk outcome, the, uh, the toughest part of this whole conversation. I'm not super happy with the outcome. Definitely wasn't happy with the spray paint outcome but the film hydro dipping. Once we started using our fresh film, it was a lot easier to get a pretty good result, although I still am having some minor issues. Uh, so I would say for me, DIY style, the outcome ain't great. If you're a DIY guy like me, then hey, take a crack at hydro dipping. It is definitely a cool process that is worth getting your hands dirty for. I enjoyed learning about it, even though I'm not super happy with the results. And sometimes that's what it's all about. Just learning, you know? Thank you, Sharks, for joining me today. Now, there are two things you need to go fast, big power and lightweight. I've spent hours of research and development to bring you this. Roll that sick montage. Like this video, smash the subscribe button. You can go follow me on Instagram at Zach Job. Follow Donut at Donut Media. Follow Justin at Justin Freeman on Instagram. Goodbye.